and welcome to the Destination Knit Podcast. This is my third, fourth time recording this because I've just been really rambly today and maybe I'd be better if I wrote a script, but I think I'm just going to wing it and try for a fourth time. So in case you're wondering, you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Destination Knit and I think that's all the administrative stuff. So I'm going to jump right into finished objects. I was inspired by the Crazy Sock Lady. That's the, her name on, it's Kay Litton. She's the Crazy Sock Lady on Instagram and Ravelry and YouTube. She has a very good podcast that you should check out. So I was watching her, I think I saw it on Instagram first, but anyways, so she inspired me to knit dish cloths because she said that she was just not in the brain space to work on anything with a pattern and this was easy. And I was like, you know what? That is a great idea. So I started with these dish cloths. I got this yarn from Joann's. It's the scrubby, like sugar and cream scrubbies or something like that. So it alternates scrubby parts with cotton down all the way. And I used one, one of those little skeins of yarn and I got two out of it. I feel like I usually get more out of those skeins of yarn. You know, they're about yay big. They're not huge, but I feel like I can get multiple dishcloths out of one, but this one just did not have as much yarn on it. And I think it might've been I don't know, it just might have just been a smaller scheme. So that's those. And then you might have seen this already if you follow me on Instagram, but I have a giant stack of dishcloths, Christmas dishcloths. A lot of them still need their ends woven in, but they're cast off, so I'm considering them done. So this is 10 dishcloths right here. I casted off one last night and I began another one this morning. And I'm almost halfway through with this one. I got one of those really big cones of yarn, um, sugar and cream, and I thought this was like really fun and Christmassy and that it would make a cute Christmas gift. So I looked at the colorway though and it's like summer fields or something like that, summertime fields. I have no idea. I don't remember. But it had to do with summer and I was like, this isn't very summery. I would call this Christmassy, right? But I thought it was fun, a nice little Christmas variegation. and. I'm gonna knit all these as dishcloths. I have this much yarn left. It's about a handful. So I think I can make probably five more. That's what I'm hoping. So I'll have 15 of these. And I was thinking, at, I'm, I'm gonna give them out as Christmas presents, but I was thinking I would just get another cone and keep knitting away. But they do have, like Sugar and Cream has another type of yarn that's or another color of yarn and it's all white and has speckles of the the same reds and greens. So I was thinking that would be kind of cute to like contrast, I guess, like so they're like coordinating but not the same, you know? But here's my dilemma. Do you really want a white dishcloth? Um, I've never made any that are white just cause that's kind of boring. Like I'd rather pick out a fun color, but I don't want it to be dirty looking, you know? So like if you scrub your dishes with it, it's going to stain. Or if you scrub the bathtub with it, like it's going to stain. And I feel like it's a stain isn't as noticeable on something like this. It's already wild and colorful, but it would be noticeable on something that's white. So give me your thoughts. Would you rather have multiple colored variegated like this, and I should just knit more in this colorway, or would you rather have white ones? So coordinating dishcloths versus all the same dishcloths. So give me your thoughts down below. And I'm thinking that if lots of people comment, lots, as in like, you know, maybe like 10 or 15 people comment on it, I might be tempted to do a giveaway and mail some cotton Christmas yarn out. We'll see. So comment below and I'll see how this goes. But that's been honestly like a major work in progress for me. I've been knitting and knitting on these. I'm doing online classes. I'm getting my master's in anthropology and I've been working on it during Zoom calls. So like when I'm in class or in a meeting or whatever, I'll be knitting below the screen. I've kind of got the mindset that if class doesn't go that well, at least I got a dishcloth out of it. So <laughs> virtual learning is not as easy as it looks. So my other work in progress has gotten quite a bit of work on it. If you remember from my last, um, my last podcast episode, I was talking about how I just cast this one on and I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it. So this is out of the whole scarn. This is the 100% wool in the Cloudberry colorway and I got a giant cone of it. 
and I started knitting and I was like, this is so thin, you know, you can, I mean, you can see right through it. So I did quite a bit of research on it. I was like asking people who have knit with it and have podcasts and I was like reaching out to people and looking at people's Instagrams with like who tagged whole scarn and stuff and everyone seems to believe that it's going to bloom and it's going to be a lot fuller after I wash it. So I'm hoping that that happens because otherwise it's just too thin it's not a very and it's not very soft you know because I mean it's 100% wool but it's kind of scratchy so I think it'll be really warm but it's not cozy right now so I'm hoping that after I wash it all of my issues will be solved so if you remember from the last episode I had just cast on this back piece and was about I think I was to here or so so I finished the back this is the back and then you split for the fronts and you knit one front all the way down, and then you knit the other front. So I have about, I mean, a good amount done on it since I have one of the fronts done, and then there's big balloon sleeves, and then I guess I'll just sew the rest of it. So, and do a button band. I haven't picked out buttons yet for it because I was gonna wait and see how it looked when it was done. But I have an idea. I think I'm gonna go with like, little black buttons or like pearly white that iridescent kind of thing if you have any thoughts you can comment on that also but i have not picked out buttons yet i'm gonna wait and see how see how it looks when it's been washed and once it's bloomed you know i think that'll have a different effect on it so i've gotten quite a bit of work done on this because i decided that this past weekend i was going to do nothing but watch Grey's anatomy and knit if you can see on my screen i've actually been watching Grey's anatomy today and then i decided that I would make use of my time and actually record a podcast. So I've been watching several seasons of Grey's Anatomy and working on my sweater and dishcloths. And it's been nice. So I really want to finish this sweater by October 9th because that is when the first clue of the Stephen West Mystery Knit Along comes out. And I'm doing it and I don't want to have a thousand projects on my needles. So that's kind of my deadline to finish a couple of these things. The other big work in progress that I have, not big, but it's a work in progress, is a pair of socks. I don't remember if I had this when I did my last podcast episode, but my mom sent me this yarn. It's a really pretty, like, variegated, I think it's blowing out a little bit, but you can tell it's, like, black and gray and blue and purple. It's really pretty, and it's just, it feels amazing. It's the, I'll put it in the description box, like, my project page with the yarn, but it's called Boots something, like... It's a German brand, but this is their Boots yarn, and I love it. And I decided to do them toe up with a fish lips kiss heel and rib the whole, a two by two rib for the whole foot of it. One of the problems that I have with my hand knit socks is that they kind of sag right here. So like I'll pull them up, but then they get like saggy and chunky around my ankles. And I feel like it makes my ankles look fat, which is a dumb thing to be worried about because I'm wearing hand knit socks and that's awesome but I think these might fit better with the ribbed cuff we'll see the ones that I have that are color work seem to stay up well and I guess it's just because it's thicker and like a little bit tighter so I'm hoping that the ribbing fixes this issue I did cast on my other the mate for this one and it is right here I have oop, it's all tangled goodness all right could have gotten this out beforehand and wouldn't have this issue. But I've got the toe done on this one, and I'm going to knit it the same way. So fish lips, kiss heel, ribbed cuff. And I really want to get this done also before the make-along. Make-along? Mystery knit-along. Knit-along. There we go. Before the knit-along comes out, I want to have this finished, and I want to have this finished. So that's all that I've been working on. I actually have, I have another sweater in the works, but it is currently in timeout just because I haven't been working on it very often and I'm not super motivated to either. I'm not positive that it's going to fit right so I'm going to have to do some like measuring and calculating and make sure that I don't have to pull it out before I keep going on it. So that's all that I've been working on and I think I can get these done before the knit along. We'll see. It's going to be so if you don't know Stephen West does a mystery knit along a shawl every year and this year's is called Slip Stravaganza, so I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of slip stitches. And I did get my yarn for it, so I can show you guys that. 
I got it from my local yarn store in North Carolina and she mailed it to me, which is very sweet. So it's still in the bag, so I hope you can see it, but it is Heritage, Cascade Yarns Heritage in the fingering weight and I got pink, um, turquoise, and lime green. I was going to say lime blue, but that's not a color. So turquoise, pink, hot pink, lime green, and black. So I wanted it to have a really strong contrast and really be able to show off like Stephen West's wild knitting style. So I went with the more Stephen West colors. So I'm hoping that it turns out good. And I'm also hoping that it's not too crazy because I'm not sure I would wear something that was too crazy, but we'll see. So I'm really excited for the knit along. I have nine days. Today is September 30th. So I have nine days to finish a pair of socks and a cardigan. And I think, I think it's doable. I'm gonna, I don't know. Maybe it's a little ambitious should I finish a whole sweater in nine days, but I'm like halfway done with it. I just have the rest of the, this front and then the two sleeves. So that's all the knitting content that I have for you. If you wanna know, if you wanna stick around for some chatter, I can chat. So I have moved to Las Vegas. I've gotten pretty settled. I've been here for two months now. I actually rearranged my room the other day cause I didn't like it. So if it looks different to you, it is slightly different. Same room, same idea things are in different places. Um, I'm probably gonna rearrange my room like 10 more times while I'm here because that's just what I do. But I do really like it here. I think the weather's really nice. It's still warm outside. I think it was like upper 80s, 90s today. And I'm wearing a three quarter length shirt and shorts. So it's nice. It's not quite fall weather. And I think it's gonna be really weird in October when like there aren't leaves changing and pumpkin patches and hay rods and stuff like that. Like I'm used to, you're very like stereotypical, I guess like New England to the South, like the whole East Coast has trees and it gets cold and you do fun fall things. So it's gonna be very different here when it's still 90 degrees. I'm hoping it cools down so that I can wear my sweaters. So um, as for, I guess I'm working on my masters and Classes are all online, like I mentioned, and I seem, I enjoy it. Um, it's nice, it's very different, you know, being online versus like being in school. So I think it, I would be having a very different experience if classes were still in person. But I think everyone's having a very different experience because of the whole pandemic thing. So let's see, that's school, home. I guess in terms of work, I don't think I've mentioned it on here, but I work at a Joann's, which is a craft store for anyone who doesn't have a Joann's but they are all over the United States. So that's where I got this yarn from and probably where I'm gonna get more cause I get, Ooh. All right, so the last little blip, I just wanted to say bye cause my phone caught, like cut off. It had shut down cause it was not charged enough apparently. So anyways, all I was saying was that I do get a good discount at Joanne since I work there. So I'm gonna keep getting some more cotton yarn and let me know, or remember, put in the comments if you think I should get another cone of this or if I should get the white speckled kind. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you again in a few weeks.